Kelsey Lakowski practices hard. She's yelling out plays and leading nearly every drill. But Kelsey is a little different than her teammates on the Niagara Wheatfield basketball team. Underneath her shirt is this patch, and it's just a small part of what helps keep Kelsey healthy and alive. This allows me to get insulin through my pump so I don't have to take shots. At the age of three, Kelsey was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes. It's why she carries these instruments to check her blood sugar levels and a water bottle she has to fill roughly four to five times a practice. Sometimes it's really tough, like sometimes I'm not feeling good at all, but like you have to push through it. It's like something you have to get through. Kelsey pushes through it every day and it's hard to ignore her passion and love for the game. I know that she's laying on the line every single game, every single practice. That means a lot to us and shows that uh, her level of commitment and loyalty to the girls and to the team. Kelsey is as strong a person and player as anyone and knows how diabetes can impact a person's life, which is why she's giving back with help from others. Outside of every home basketball game are these red donation jars. Inside is money collected from the community and this money goes right to Kelsey, who in turn gives it to others with type 1 diabetes. It's honestly such a blessing to, like, to see people give like their time and their money. That's just something that means so much to me. Since Kelsey started fundraising three years ago, she's collected around $6,000. That money sends kids with type 1 diabetes to a camp that changed Kelsey's life. I learned so much about like diabetes and what it means to be like a diabetic when you're a young kid. We just really want to send people there so that they can have the opportunity that I did. An opportunity to understand that their diagnosis isn't who they are. Type 1 diabetes doesn't define me as a person. I went for it and I love basketball. It's like my favorite sport. So if I hadn't tried and I hadn't given it a chance, I probably wouldn't have been here where I am today. In Sanborn, Kelsey. Jenna Caleri, 7 Eyewitness Sports.